Hi, my name is Philip and I'm going to do a quick uh, screencast of how to set up ZFS uh, file system within Ubuntu. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, become the root by typing in su dash and the password for root and there we go so we're now root. Now what we're going to do is um, find out what uh, disks we have within the system that we can use and to do that we open uh, the disk management within um, system and administration there we go and so we've now opened the uh, disk utility within Ubuntu now what we're going to do is find the actual device uh, names and to do that you simply click on the hard drive and then your device name is over here so it's dev sbd um, so what we're going to do now is if we just keep that to one side and just find out what these other devices are called so that's c and that's d right so what we're going to do is we're going to just see if there's any um, zfs file systems on here um, sorry first of all maybe we should install zfs on the system and to do that you do um, apt get um, install zfs hyphen fuse and this should go ahead and install uh, zfs on the computer uh, now I've already got this installed so we're just going to go ahead and create the um, zfs file system so it's uh, z pool list just to see if there's anything on there and z pool status just to see what the status is of any disks that we may have on there so as you can see there's nothing on there at the minute so what I'm going to do is just create a simple uh, RAID 5 um, alike um, configuration so if one disk fails then we can just swap it out with another disk and the system carries on working so to do that we're going to type in z pool create is going to create a z pool and the name of the pool I'm just going to call this uh, Yoda and it wants to be a raid z1 which allows for this is the equivalent to raid 5 where one disk in a raid array can fail and it will still carry on if two disks fail then it probably won't carry on um, you can type uh, raid z2 which allows for two disks to fail so that's the equivalent of raid 6 I believe but for our demonstration we have three drives so I just want um, raid 5 equivalent so we've got the we're going to create a pool the pool name is going to be called Yoda and it's a RAID 5 equivalent and now we need to type in the disks that we want associated with this so we just go back to our disk utility and it's going to be SDB so we're just going to type in SDB and then SDC and SDD and there has to be a space between these and then we're going to create the pool and as you can see it's created that array and just to check this we can do a zpool list which will list all zfs file systems on the system and there we go so we can see that we have a 5.97 uh, gigabyte size um, array so that's two four six but when you actually come to use it you'll only actually have um, four gigabytes because um, it's a third of the space for redundancy so let's just uh, z pool status to see the status of it so we can see it's all online and working um, now to if you're the root user of uh, Ubuntu then you can access this file system no problems because it's been created uh, by root and you have to be root to create the file system um, so for me to write any files to this if I just give a quick uh, demo of this, if I load up and refresh the um, file system we can see Yoda and the file system is 3.9 gigabytes um, that's usable um, and at the minute we can't actually write anything to this because we don't have permission so 
in order to be get permission to write into this file uh, this folder we're going to just do uh, ch um, own and we're going to type in philip and it was yoda it's philip c i think it's yoda not yoda <laughs> and there we go so now if i refresh this i should now be able to create a folder and there's the folder created i can uh, rename this folder to something else and it's there within this folder i should now be able to create a, a, an empty document and there we go and i can obviously edit that document and do stuff with the document um, so there we go that's a, a simple way of creating a zfs file system within um, ubuntu um, hope you enjoyed this video and please subscribe thank you very much